what's up y'all and welcome back oh what's good what's up oh, welcome back i just dropped my iphone <laughs> First things first, before we even get into this video, stop what you're doing right now. Pause the video if you need to. Subscribe to the channel, join the squad, join the fam. If you're new, welcome. I, I missed you. I didn't even know you didn't miss you. You know what I'm saying? But welcome. And if you're coming back, what's up? I haven't come up with the squad name yet. But uh, that's coming. TBA. You know, I've seen the comments. I appreciate all the feedback. Love that. Love to see it. Still trying to play with some stuff, see how I feel about it. But as soon as I know, you know. Best to believe. So now let's get into this video. As y'all can see, y'all see my hair. Y'all like it. It's a little passion twist. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling like I wanted to be like bohemian vibes since your girl been on quarantine and can't travel anywhere. So guess what? I'm somewhere. My hair says I'm somewhere, so guess what? I'm there. You feel me? All right. So in this video, I'm showing you how I accomplish this look, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry. I had to give a moment of silence to the edges, honey, because I, I, I don't try this. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. But y'all, if you love this look, you're going to love this video, okay? Because you can accomplish this too. Now... This took me, I'm not going to lie to y'all, because I was in no rush. This took me maybe between like seven to eight hours to accomplish. This, that doesn't include the actual parting and rubber band, because I use rubber band method, um, as you will see in the video. It doesn't include that. This literally took me three days because I was in no rush. So I had parted and did everything one day, and then the next day... Um, I went in and started doing the actual twist and everything. So it took me, it took me some time. I think it's because they're so long one, they are butt length. So, um, they are really long. So I did have to do more twisting than probably someone else who got like maybe back or waist length. Um, but I love them. And too, I added a lot of charms and, you know, things into, um, into the hair. Um, what is the yarn is that what it's called yarn i don't know but i added a lot of you know things to it to give it that vibe i had a look that i was going for and i accomplished it so if you're seeing this video then it came out good because if it didn't look good i wasn't gonna show y'all how how it looks because i'm not gonna bring anything to y'all that i wouldn't be proud of myself so mm, can i give a moment of silence for the lash y'all see i'm in glam right i don't did my face i don't i don't i don't beat it up a little bit you know what i'm saying nothing major some slight little light you feel me i'm going out on a date with my best friends yeah we date we make sure we date yeah so we're going to dinner so this is why i'm cute like this so i was like let me go ahead and film my intro because they never seen the girl look quite like this you feel me so this is where we are but um these lashes are from the chocolate mink collection these are dark chocolate it's all chocolate themed of course and I, i've used they have a lash glue that i love it's waterproof it's called the chocolate drip as well i will tag their name in one of these spots um they're on instagram you can go check out the instagram check out all the different styles check out their website but it is um the ch chocolate mink I'm going to tag it because I ain't trying to mess up the name. Don't, don't. I'm going to tag it. But yeah, y'all go check them out. They, I love it. I love them. They have all kind of lengths, all kind of styles, dramatic. This is more of a dramatic. This is long. I think these are 25 mm's if, if I'm not mistaken. But they have 18. I believe she has 15. I don't know. Don't give me a lie. But I love them. But anyway, let's get back into the video. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you try it, y'all make sure y'all let me know because I want to see. I am absolutely loving this hair. You feel me? It's so light. It's bouncy. It's easy. Like, oh, where have you been my whole life? Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm being dramatic. But let's get into the video. And it's probably going to be like a little voiceover of me like talking to y'all in my like seductive radio voice to explain to y'all how to get this look again. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I hope y'all enjoy this video. Let's roll the clips. 
Okay guys, so we have our free tresses crochet braid hair in the style water wave 22 inches i used the color 430 love this hair this was highly recommended in the videos that i watched love how they placed the color in the hair it's like peekaboo throughout the hair is very shiny very bouncy um it's a great quality hair so I am very happy with this hair and the texture and the look of it. This is the hair after I have pulled it apart, which was recommended in several videos to give it the to give the twist that um, fluffy look. So you, I just pulled it apart. I wanted to show you guys how that looks, and you can see me running my fingers through it, breaking it up real good. You see that peekaboo of color, that bounce, y'all. Look at that. I was so excited at this point for this look. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have my shining jam, which will help with the parts and getting the hair together. My favorite edge control for the obvious reasons. Rubber bands, of course. Our crochet tool. And a comb that's obviously being used already, but this helps me gather the hair. Um, each part then I have my edge control brush for my edge edges and then my rat tail to make those clean parts so we have the hair rope for decoration we have some hair jewels that I'm gonna show you I found this pack at Amazon I'm gonna see if I can find it again I can put it in the description below okay so let's get into these parts as you see, I've already parted the back of my head, so I just wanted to show you guys a little demonstration on how I parted the front. I'm giving y'all a warning now, the front of my head is a little bit on the struggle bus, so don't come for me, okay? Y'all see a little straggly piece? Anyways, so I'm using my rat tail comb to part my hair. I did two even pieces. Then I'm gonna take that shining jam, put it on my part, get that together. And then I'm gonna just apply a rubber band to it as soon as I find it. There it goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply the rubber band. Um, I'm not going all the way down to the root, like not tight tightening the rubber band to the scalp as of yet, and you'll see why in the future. It makes it easier um, when you're trying to get that crochet tool underneath to not tighten it right away. So on the front parts, of my hair. This is when I apply the edge control. So it lays down so slick and so smooth as you are about to see. Watch this transformation y'all, just watch. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Y'all see them hairs? Y'all see them hairs? Lay, honey, ain't going no word. This is why this is my favorite edge control. I swear by it. Use it for ponytails, everything, not just this. So we're gonna rubber band this section and y'all get the gist of it. I'm gonna show y'all a couple more, probably one more row. And then we're gonna move on to the next phase.
See, the back of the hair is complete. So again, I'm on the front and I'm gonna show you. And I've tested out some pieces. So here we go. Take our jam, take a part, I'll split it in two. And I'm gonna rub the jam on each part of the hair just to keep it separated. So you see I'm working the jam on the hair. It may not look like it's being applied on there generously, but it is very generously because I want to make sure my hairs blend with that hair so I take two strands of the water wave you see here and now I'm gonna work my fingers through it and puff it up like I showed you in the beginning of the video how it should look that's what I'm doing here so I'm running my fingers breaking it up to make sure I get a nice voluptuous fluffy passion twist oh, so there we go that's to my liking and now I'm going to take the two strands and I'm going to stagger them as you will see this is what gives it that length this is how I achieve the butt length I stagger the two pieces of hair and you see how long it is so now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist it like so this is going to help to hook the hair onto the crochet tool so boom now we're ready i'm going to take the crochet tool slide it underneath the rubber band once it's slid under the rubber band i'm going to hook the hair onto the hook and we're going to close the latch and i'm going to pull it through not all the way right so now I'm going to take the loop and I'm going to pull one side completely through now I'm struggling right here I don't even know why I didn't have any complications the whole time I was doing my hair until I turned the camera on but I figured it out okay so now you see I have the strands on each side and now I'm adjusting it to meet my length requirement so I'm taking my jam again a generous amount because I'm heavy-handed I'm gonna tighten the hair on to the, the water wave hair so I'm tightening that rubber band down now at this point to secure it and now I'm gonna take that jam keep it on my hand while I'm working with the part that has my hair to make sure it all blends and it's cohesive together. And then I'm gonna twist. Now I'm twisting away from my face, if that makes sense. So I think I read twist to the right, but when I say twist to the right, it doesn't make sense to me. So I'm telling you that I'm twisting away from my face, going back. So now you see that I'm gonna twist 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 I keep applying the jam to my hands while my hair is still a part of the twist just to make sure like I said it's cohesive you'll see me I keep continuing to apply the jam and you'll see me continuing to break the hair up because that's a certain look that I wanted I wanted it to be fluffy I'll break them up in some places different places on different braids because I wanted all the textures, not the textures necessarily, but I wanted all the twists to look different. I didn't want any of the twists to all look the same.
okay so now i'm going to speed the video up a little bit but i'm going to show you two more times this entire process all over again <laughs> 